Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Me the Immortal, which this deck's going to be really good because if you want to be looking at a new commander damage deck, she's probably the new commander for you. So she, what she does is two green, blue, red, legendary creature, human rogue, at the beginning of your combat on your turn, put your choice of a 1-1 counter, first strike, vigilance, or menace counter on Me the Immortal. Counters remain on Me as it moves to zone or other, uh, other than a player's hand or library. You may cast Me from your graveyard by discarding two cards in addition to paying some other costs. She's a 3-3. And this is going to be really good because even if your opponents kill her, exile her, whatever, you just keep her. Even if she goes to the command zone, you just keep all those counters and then you can just play her back right with all those counters still on them. Just like the Ozolith. So, this card, so she's going to be really good. So so you can put woman counters and she can become really good. So our first card is obviously going to be counters. So we got... Conclave Sledge Captain. This just card's really good because you can put 3-1 counters on her and then you can get build up really quickly because we can just keep uh, giving her so many counters from that other ability from backup. Then we got Deep Blow Skate and this card's really good because if you have like 10 counters, now you have 20 one one counters. Then we also got Forgotten Ancient and this card's also pretty good because whenever a player casts a spell, you put a one counter on it and the players can cast on a rotation back like 10 spells so if you can get like 10 one encounters later in the game each turn that can be really good then we got helena and helena partners and they can just put so many one encounters on your uh commander because you can just do equal to their power and then you can also give your commander haste they all this really just goes through really well this card's really well into your commander because you turn play this on turn four or three if you have ramp and then you play your commander right the next turn and then you give it also haste so that's really good then we got Kami of Whispered Hopes, and this card's just good ramp. It also just adds extra one counters. So if we can get like one or two one counter one counters, we get more plus one instead. Then we got Master Biomancer, and this card's just pretty good because it also uh, curves right into your commander, and you just add extra one counters. And then you can also make this creature bigger to uh, give your commander even more one counters. And we got Scavenge Brawler, and this card is really good because we can put four one counters when we exile this thing, and we can also, it's really easy to exile this thing because we have this hand in our, and this thing in our hand, and then we can discard it with our commander because our commander's last ability, the less is to discard it by paying her cost. We can just get this thing, on, we can discard it, and then exile it because our commander's really easy to discard things. Then we got Thrumming Bird, and this card's a really good proliferator, and that just proliferates all of our counters. Oh, the only one that I really, really care about is the one counters, but still, Thrumming Bird's really good about just giving us plus one 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 counters. But we do have some adders like Kami and others, so that's really good. Then we got Vorel of Whole Clad, and this card's really good because you can just keep doubling the number of counters on your creature each turn, and that can just be like you can go 10, 20, 40, and just keeps going up and up. And they can't remove those counters unless they can return to your hand or to your library. Then we got Asian's Toolkit, and this card's really good because we can just add a one counter, but we can also still draw. And we can also give it a lot of other counters, like other counters, flying, death touch, and shield. So it's not like the best, but we could sacrifice once we're done with it. And then we got Fractal Harness, and this is just really good because we first uh, equipped it to our commander, and then we just keep doubling the one encounters when our commander attacks. Then we got uh, the Ozolith, the Shattered Spire, and this card just adds the additional one encounter. And then we can also put a one encounter on our commander if we pay two. We, we, it also cycles. Then we got Ring of Kalana, and this card just gives its trample. And we can also put a one encounter on it, and it is green, so it gets that. We got Bard Class, and this gives our commander an additional one encounter when it's the battlefield, makes our commander red, green, cheaper. And then it also, if we get to the final one, we can uh, exile it when we cast a legendary spell. We're not going to care about that one because we don't have many legendary uh, spells, but that's still pretty good. We like the first two. Then we got Fighting Ring, Rigging, not Ring. Uh, and it has hideaway, which is a pretty cool mechanic. And then we can uh, put a one counter to our creature. We control each combat, and that's really useful because we can put one counter each combat, and then we can add that up. And that can be because instead of getting probably two one counters, because me allows you to do that each combat, each of your combat, uh, put a one counter on her. You could just keep putting two one counters instead, or maybe even more. 
but then we can also get uh, that card for free if we get me to seven power or if you're using a different creature as your old character. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. And then we got hardened scales, and this card just adds to one encounters plus one, so this card's pretty good. And we got Ordell of Ordeal of Nile, Nile, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and whenever the creature attacks, uh, we put a one counter on it, and then that's, that triggers three times, or not even three times if we already have counters, which we probably are, we'll, we'll, we'll probably already have counters. So when it dies, we just, when we sacrifice this thing, we just keep getting basic, we just get ba two basic lands, put them onto the battle attacks. Then we got Ordeal of Thassa, and that's just really good because we just draw two cards whenever we sacrifice, and that's probably gonna happen like in a couple turns or maybe a couple, like, we're, we're just right away. Then we got the first Tyronic War. In this card, the first one's useless. Actually, no, it's not useless because we could get a free creature card. We don't have many creature cards, but that's still pretty good. And then we can also, um, the first, the second and third, we just double the number of counters on our creature. So that's just double double. Then we got Spectacular Showdown. And this card is a really good just, we can do it on just the commander to just give us your double strike. But if we really want to cause chaos, we can cause, we can put it on every single creature. And we got Tezzeret's Gambit. And this card is just really good, just proliferate everything and also draw two cards. And we can only pay, we can also play three mana, but we can also pay four. Then we got Visions of Dominance, and this card's pretty good. I like it because we get to double the one, the one encounters, and then we also put one encounters on Treasure Creature. And then uh, we can also flash it back for cheaper amounts. Now we got Evasion. We got Brawn, and this card just gives our command Trample, which if we get discarded, but this is really easy to get killed or discarded because we have our meat. And then, so that just gives our uh, creatures trample, so that's really good for our commander. Then we got Her Hurdle of Herald of Secret Streams, and this card just really good. It's, it's uh, like five dollars, six. I don't remember the price, but six dollars somewhere around there. And it just makes uh, our cr our creatures with counters on them, one well, counters, not be able to block. That's amazing for our commander. That's just a very basically free shot kill. Then we got K9 Mark 1, and this card is just really good because we can just make target legendary creature not be able to block. And we can also give it ward if it's untapped. Then we got Winged Hive Tyrant, and this creature just can give us our creatures with haste, flying in haste, and so that means just uh, we can just give our creatures really ha harder to block and also just faster to swim. The only thing I don't like about this card is 5 mana, so it, it plays on the same turn as our commander, so it's probably not going to give our commander haste because we play this and then we play our commander. We could do it the other way around. Then we got Wonder, and then same thing as Brawn. We can discard uh, this or get it killed, and then we can give all of our creatures flying as long as we control an island. Now we got card advantage. And we really need our card advantage. We have already shown some, but we have more. First up, we got Primal Empathy. So, we if we control the creature with the greatest power, which we probably are, because we're bumming up our so much, we, we draw a card. Otherwise, we just put a wall encounter on that creature. Then we got Danny Pink, and this card's really good, because whenever uh, we place counters on our command each turn, we can just draw a card. And we can do this during our opponent's turn, and we place so many counters on our commander. And then we got Hunter's Insight. This card's really good because we can draw so many cards whenever our commander deals combat damage. And then, we, because our commander's so big, we deal so much combat damage. We can draw maybe 20, or maybe if we just one-shot kill them, 40 cards. Well, 21's one-shot kill anyway. Now we got Family's Favor, and this card's just really good drawing cards, but me deals combat damage. Then we got um, this, and then it just draws cards equal to me's power, probably, unless you have another creature with the greatest power. And then also, we can just cast a spell with mana value five or less from our hand. Then we got treasure, treasure Cruise, and this card's really good because so we can just exile the things that we discard with me if me died, and then we can just draw three cards. Now we got Protection. So we got Slippery Bog Bonder, and this card's just really good because we can just put hexproof counters on uh, me, probably. And then we can also move counters if we have any counters on other creatures, how we want to move on me. Then we got Winged Boots, and this card just gives me f uh, Ward 4 and also Fly. Now we got Gaia's Gift, and it puts a one counter on target creature you control, it gains reach. 
uh, trampled, hexproof, and also gains in indestructible. So this is really good just protecting your commander. It's one turn though. And there are, um, so this may seem like a low amount. Um, there are a couple more, I think, the protection spells. But uh, me is just really easy just to get back, and it doesn't really matter if me dies or it gets exiled. Now we got removal, and yeah, this is just gonna be like our our braid, just deals three damage to our creature, or we can destroy an artifact. We got ancient aminus, and this card just really got fighting to our creature, and we also get a one counter on me. Now we got beast within a classic staple. Then we got counter spell, really good, uh, just two mana to counter our spell. We got blasphemous act. This card's really good, just killing all creatures, and this is probably not gonna kill me because me is probably gonna be past 13 toughness. Now we got ramp, and we got soaring, obviously, arcane signet, rattle, claw, mystic. This is card just really good because we can morph if we really want to, or it can just add some one mana of any color of our choosing of this deck. Then we got ghoul signet, really good, just adding red or green. Uh, is it signet? We can add blue or red. Simic Signet, green or blue. Far Seek, we can search for our library for basically any land card and then just put it onto the battlefield. We accept uh, Forest though. So we can't search our library for Forest, but that's it. Then we got Rampant Growth. This card's just good. Search our library for uh, any basic land card put onto the battlefield attached. Go Cultivate. Just uh, search our library for any cards. For any cards, uh, that'd be kind of good. Basic land cards, and then just reveal them, and then we get to put one on the battlefield tapped. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Full deck list in the description below. Sadly, I couldn't recall, uh, show you all the cards, but the full deck list will be in the description below. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Subscribe and like if you really want to see more deck techs of Doctor uh, Doctor Who.